drinking my coffee I am dressed face washed perfume on only to do laundry <laughs> I'm not going nowhere I do have to go to the grocery store because I got to figure out what we gonna eat for dinner today I haven't cooked in a minute so definitely know I need to cook but the only thing that I get did not get done before the actual New Year day is my laundry. Like, and girl, it's piled up this high. No, it's not really that bad. But I did not get my laundry done before New Year's Day. So that was bothering me, you know. But uh, yeah, I am up. I am dressed. I hope everybody had a blessed, blessed, blessed New Year. Happy New Year! It is 2024. It is Monday. It is a new month. It is January 1st. And um, we about to get our day started. Like I said, I'm not doing much today. I'm just about to do laundry. Um, in the previous haul, you would have seen that I had like those cardigan jacket situations that I got from when we were in Nashville. That stuff, well, everything that I basically bought in Nashville is now just sitting here on this bench that need to be hung up. So I'm going to get that done. And that's pretty much it. I do want to say, if you have not subscribed and you like what you've been seeing, if you watch any of my previous vlogs, please consider subscribing because I would love, love, love to have you. This channel focuses on um, pretty much just everyday life. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have like a niche channel. I just have whatever is happening in my life, whatever I got going on, I'm bringing y'all along with me. Okay? All right. So, now that we got that out the way, I'm going to get this doggone laundry out the way because it's something I just really do not feel like doing, but it got to be done, girl, I guess. <laughs>
Felix because I had to come and get um oh because I had to come and get the stuff to make the well I just needed food period it's a little chilly out here this morning too Woo. It's funny, your, your family, he talking about he don't want to be on camera. I said give y'all the camera. I lay my, my, my second amendment rights. They be acting so funny. One minute they want to be on it, one minute they don't. That's why I could never have a family channel. Because I got too much of a wishy-washy family. All right, let me get the stuff I need. Let me try, I think I tried one. Ginger and lime, well that probably hurt. I think I'm gonna try this one. They buy one, buy one, get one free, so. I'm gonna try, what is this? Raspberry rose. And Watermelon. I'm gonna try that pop. All the stuff we don't need and they put it all in the front of the store. You want some cake?
Hey y'all, so it is much later in the day. I baked these cookies. I actually bought these cookies during Vlogmas and I was going to use these cute little um, cookie cutouts that I bought from Home Goods that I did not use. I bought this kit, this cocoa kit, this hot cocoa kit that I did not use. I had brought these and I also bought this um thing here which i don't even think i showed you all any of this stuff but i got it all from home goods this was 19.99 these were 9.99 and then the, the little cutouts were i think 7.99 yeah they were 7.99 didn't use any of it i already had the cookie mix so i was craving cookies so I just went ahead and baked them all and I'm going to put them in this little, I don't even know what you call this, but this is what I bought it for. So that's what we're doing now. I'll set these in here because I just decided to bake them all and they are so like perfect. This was the first time I actually uh, followed the directions on the back of the um container or whatever you want to call it but this is the first time that i actually follow the directions and cook them for 12 minutes exactly i set a timer and it was perfect so they are nice and soft in the inside with a nice you know little slight crunch on the outside so we're just going to put them in here and store, oh, wait a minute now. Did they not fit? Okay. So that's not going to stack up the way I thought it would. So I was trying to put them in there all cute, see? But that's not going to work. So we got to make it work. Because... This is probably the best bunch of cookies I've ever made so let's see if that works voila we're just gonna store these right over here in the corner easy cleanup wrap this up and now we're about to start on we're about to um, start on the turkey wings so you would have seen that I had bought two, two packs of turkey legs. I really wanted the wings, but they didn't have any wings. So we had to settle for the drumsticks, which is fine. Turkey is turkey. That's how we're going to roll with it. And then we're doing some Jiffy cornbread. I got the onions and peppers to go in the, um, with the turkey. And then cabbage. And we got some chicken broth and then I'm also going to do rice so let me go ahead get the chicken I mean the chicken the turkey all cleaned up we'll get in the pan and then I'll show y'all the seasonings that I use so that I can get these on I'm still not done editing the vlog okay <laughs> I'm still working on that so let me go ahead and get these cleaned up put in the pan and then I'll come back all right so the turkey is all clean hands washed <laughs> so now we are about to season so gotta go in with the old faithful and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna season like one side and then flip them over and then just season the other side garlic powder And pretty much, this is my staple seasoning for everything. So, you would have seen these all before because I put the same seasoning on everything. I think I have one of these that are open. We're going to need some pepper. 
the only difference I am going to use some poultry seasoning um, and some meat tenderizer but I think I have one open so we'll just take everything out and then This one is open, and then we still need onion powder. I knew I had ran out of one of them, so it must have been the onion powder. And this is the new one that I just bought today. I couldn't remember if it was either garlic powder or onion powder. I'm glad I just went ahead and picked up both because I wasn't for sure which one, but it was the onion powder, so. Glad I did that. All right, now we can finish seasoning. So, <laughs> onion powder. Wait, why is that like that? Oh. Poultry seasoning, which is important because poultry seasoning brings out the taste in turkey. I don't know if it's, I mean, chicken is poultry too, but um, I just feel like it's better with turkey. It works better with turkey. A little meat tenderizer, unseasoned meat tenderizer. Close that. Yeah, unseasoned meat tenderizer. Paprika. I didn't use smoked paprika because sometimes I don't really like the taste of it. It gives something, some stuff, it gives too much of a smoky um, flavor. And then I'm using Lari's, but I use the one that is less sodium. Now, when I don't use Lari's, I use this, which is Everglades. And it is a um, all-purpose seasoning as well. It's not as heavy on the sodium. I think I've said that a couple of times here on the vlog. But it's zero calories, zero trans fat. And comparing the two, now that this is 270 because it is the lower sodium Lari's. But this is not bad either compared to the regular Lari's. So choose whichever one you choose. But this is the one I'm using today. Because turkey can be bland, so it needs a little zuzza, a little zaza. Black, black pepper. And then lastly, we want to hit it with a little bit of Mrs. Dash. Now I say a little bit, but honestly, you can go as heavy as you like with the Mrs. Dash because, of course, Mrs. Dash has basically nothing. <laughs> no sodium, no um, carbs, no fat, none of that. So this is about the best thing on the market, and I buy them all. So give me one second. And we're going to... I'm going to flip these around. Uh oh. And on the other side, we're just going to do a light seasoning because once it starts, once you put your broth in there, um, you won't need as much seasoning on the other side because it's going to start to 
even itself out and then of course you flipping it and turning it and all that kind of stuff so the first thing i'm gonna do on this side is i'm gonna start with the um the uh, meat tenderizer because it doesn't have any salt or anything in it Doing a little paprika, all the stuff that don't really have oops, wow, but all the stuff that don't really have a lot of sodium. I'm starting with on this side because it kind of like it. I don't know, may and I'm tell me y'all if I'm wrong because I'm sure I am, <laughs> but in my mind, I feel like it distributes um, better when you do it that way. I'm sure that's not right, but. In my mind, that's unfortunately how I think. <laughs> so now I'm about to go in. I use the um, less sodium broth, 33% less sodium because we're trying to preserve our hearts and blood pressure. So we're just going to uh -oh, pour it in like this. And you don't have to fill it up. You don't have to even cover the meat. This is just kind of a base to kind of give you like... Um, I guess something like an au jus type of situation, but you just need a little bit. And then what I like to do, sorry if y'all keep moving because I'm standing, the tripod is standing by the, um, let me stop y'all from shaking like a tail feather. Okay, I think that's right. And then I like to like flip them around. Uh oh the juice to kind of like get all the seasonings all in the juice and everything too like so like that turn around like that we're gonna do the same thing with this one uh -oh. not like these tongs. I don't know where my little small ones are. But do that like that. Uh -oh. And then lastly what I'm going to do is cut up the onions and peppers and stuff like that and throw those in there. So Alright, so I got about um, maybe a little, well I'll say half an onion. And I'm just going to thinly slice this. Go all over. So we're gonna do the same this is about a half of red pepper and a half of a, a green pepper so we're gonna do the same just slice these up fairly thin now we're just going to cover this put it in the oven and then we'll take the lid off when it's already done and then we'll put it on broil just for a little bit and take the while once we take the lid off and then that's it. So it's 444 now. I'm gonna check on this in about an hour and I'll show y'all what it's looking like. Okay, so here is what the turkey wing or turkey <laughs> drumsticks are looking like. Now they've been in there at the time is 619, so a little bit over an hour. I'm about to flip them, put them on broil, and let them brown and get a little crisp, and they're done. Only take a minute for cabbage and rice. Don't know if I'm making cornbread because I didn't got that. Okay. All right, y'all. This is the finished product. I decided not to make the cornbread because, honestly, I just didn't feel like it. I was just doing too much at the same time I was cooking and... It's already almost eight o'clock and we're eating. This is pretty late, but this is the finished product. I'm about to sit down and eat. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. Wait, is it even morning? I think it's afternoon, y'all. Girl, it's probably after 12 by now, but barely. So it's still good morning. 
early afternoon-ish. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday, January 2nd. And girl, I've been up and moving around. I feel so accomplished this morning. I have got so much done. I um I never finished my laundry yesterday. That's number one. So I didn't get a chance to finish my laundry yesterday. So I'm getting that all done, folded and everything. Because we're going to start the new year off right by folding, washing, drying, folded, and putting it up. Now, I always wash, dry, and fold. But my stuff will stay in baskets probably maybe like two days. Because I really can't. I can't live with the stuff in a basket for too long because I'm not about to be digging through the basket for anything that I need. So that gets kind of frustrating for me. So it's not that they stay in there long, but I'm just going to get it knocked out all in the same day. I cleaned up my kitchen this morning. I, um, oh, I finally cleaned out the water bottle cabinet and all that kind of stuff like that. But you remember it probably... It was before Vlogmas, so many, many blog. Oh, I don't know if it was before Vlogmas or doing Vlogmas, but I did pick up these like water storage um, containers. Let me show you. Let me show y'all. I finally got this cabinet cleared out, and I'm so happy because I just couldn't take it any longer. Let me show y'all. So this is what it's looking like now. These are just like extra tops. I didn't want to throw those away. And then like that's our ninja top, our little handles to um, the cups that I brought us back for when me and my husband, I got us all engraved cups from Cabo when me and my husband went for our anniversary. But it just feels so much better to have this cabinet cleaned out and organized because it was a mess. So many water bottles, probably half of these water bottles don't even have a top, but it's probably a universal top so i kept more like the universal tops and girl we also woo, finally finally got our garage cleaned out when i tell you don't mind the floor they did mop it <laughs> but my husband he got some chemicals um that can get i spray painted some stuff in here and the spray paint like got pretty much everywhere so he um he could clean that up so that's not a big deal but it's still a little wet from when they mopped it it smell good it's clean it's organized like look at this y'all like the level of happy that i am is just unreal like it's so clean like, and I like the fact that they even, like, they moved everything. They didn't move all the shoes out, but they moved them from the wall, swept the mop behind there, swept it real good, got all behind the crevices, all that. I am a little nervous about this black shelf because it's got a little gangsta lean on it. Hopefully, it don't tumble over. It should be fine, but um, it's not much stuff. Those are two Christmas trees. That's the Christmas tree that I just took down. And then I never showed y'all that Christmas tree because I did not want to put that Christmas tree up this year. It's an all silver one, but I did mention it. But girl, just having a garage clean. And this stuff over here, this bench, I'm giving away, selling. I really want to just donate it. This desk I'm donating. This is my old desk. That's a table. That's the bench that was in my garage. I'm at my in my half bath. So all of this stuff is being donated. This is just like my real estate license that I put in the um frame. What is this? Oh, this is a um a calendar, like a well not a calendar, but like a, a, a board that you can write on. And then still haven't used my Bissell Green, but I am going to use it. I probably will do that tomorrow. Um, maybe I do want to get up tomorrow and forgive the washer and dryer is going on in the back if you hear that but girl can y'all see so clean my daughter bought me this bike for Mother's Day probably like four years ago maybe three or four years ago and I was eyeing this bike for so long at Walmart but then what happened was she ended up getting me the bike. I rode it a few times, but not realizing it's a cruiser. So 
it almost took me out every time I tried to ride this bike. The slightest hill, it just, it's no give. It's just no give. This is strictly a bike to be rolled on flat land, preferably the, on, the, on some sand or like a beach or, you know, not a beach, but like, you know, maybe like just strictly for flat land. Let me just say that. So probably this summer, um, you know, when we start taking our little trips and stuff like that to the beach, I'm definitely going to start taking my bike because I do enjoy riding a bike. And then I also have plans to buy me a mountain bike where I can switch the gears because I do like riding a bike and getting on my treadmill. Those are the two most um, active things I do that I actually really, really enjoy. And then, of course, we have our tonal there that I use mostly for weightlifting. So I use our tonal for um, like arms and legs, like more strength training. And then that table over there, I don't know if you can see. Can y'all see that silver table right there with those rugs at the bottom? I'm going to fix that because those rugs I probably won't throw away. I know that jupe rug I just bought, so I'm not going to throw that one away. I got to figure out where I'm going to put it on one of these shelves. But, yeah, they did an awesome job with organizing this. I don't want to stack out my house shoes on, but, like, it just looks so good. So freaking good. Very pleased. Very pleased. And I would and I would like to say too, that was a black owned company. They were extremely professional from the time I called them to do the survey. Well, first I looked up their reviews. The reviews were awesome. They had like over 200 and something reviews and everybody has something very good to say about them. Shout out to them. They did a good job. I'm very, very pleased. So I'm actually probably going to be in the house today. I do have to make one run to the store. Oh, girl. But let me tell y'all about those turkey wings last night. When I tell you those turkey wings were so good. So good. Like, all of us was raving about how good they were. And I'm so mad because I only bought four. I told my husband I almost want to double back. Because we still got some cabbage left and we still have some rice left. So, I'm almost wanting to double back. Go to the grocery store, buy some more wing, turkey wing, um, turkey drumsticks just to go with the, the cabbage and rice that was in there. When I tell you, the whole meal was just, I did a good job. I did a good job. Okay. But I'm not um, doing much of nothing else today. I'm about to finish doing my laundry. I got two more loads, whites and my sheets and towels. And I'm going to put these clothes up and sometime today, I definitely have to take these braids down. Not sure what I'm going to do to my hair, but I don't want to continue to talk y'all ears off. Let me go ahead and get this laundry done and then I'll check back in with y'all later on. See what y'all doing, what y'all been doing all day. Make sure y'all did what y'all said y'all was going to do because we not breaking Anything that we said we was going to do for 2024, only on day two, okay? We sticking to the plan all year. All right. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. So, it is later in the day. And I wanted to share with you this, um, a few Amazon purchases that I got in today. I wasn't expecting them today. But one being this book. So, we're going to open it together. It's like a a manifestation book a book of course that you can write down um, like your goals weekly to do things like that so let's see I was expecting it to come tomorrow I wasn't expecting it to come today so let's see what it is This is what, and it looks like this on um, Amazon. So, well, you know, like with the cover or the, the marketing behind it, this is the first thing that you see. It was one of the sponsored ones. So I'm not sure if they have it when I ordered it. They only had like eight of them available. 
and it comes with all these. It has a nice soft leather um, cover. And then it comes with like all of these little stickers. And this is just something to take a survey with. And you'll get two free gifts. Comes with a thank you card. That's nice. It says, thank you for your purchase. We love you and you are awesome. Receive 15% off your next purchase with this coupon code. So, you know, I see the coupon code. For anybody who want to order it. And then here's a couple of more coupons for 10% off of any planner. So anybody that is looking to order, hopefully this is focused enough. There's 10%. And I have two of those. I think they're the same. Yeah, they're the same. Oh, three of those. And then it comes with like these calendar stickers. It comes with, okay, like some little Cute little stickers, spa, beauty, celebration, repair, travel, movies, holiday, doctor, diner, like all oh, these are cute. So it tells you what they are for over here. And then you can add them to your planner as needed, like motivational stickers. I love myself, let go and trust the universe. I am ready for great stuff to happen in every area of my life. I am beautiful, I am blessed, I am enough. Love these. That, I just read off a few, but I love those. And then it has these. You can do it. Road trip. Worry less. Smile more. I approve myself. Love those. And then it comes with like these little stickers. I am grateful. Shopping list. My victories. Urgent books to read. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then it comes like with this little message in the in the beginning, and it says, "Keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts become words. Keep your words positive because your words become your behavior. Keep your behavior positive because your behavior come behavior becomes your habits. Keep your habits positive because your habits become your values. Keep your values positive because your values becomes your destiny." Gandhi. I love this. They have really, really good reviews. Look at that. Law of Attraction, Roadmap. You know, just something to just help us help me get through something different. I never ordered one of these, but I do practice the Law of Manifestation. I do believe in it. I do believe what you speak over your life. Um, has, your words have power. So... We all sometimes need something to keep us on track. And it's just a little something to, you know, help. It has all these different little things in here. This, they didn't have like, um, they didn't have like a insert of what it looked like, but look at that. This is so nice. And then it also comes with this bookmark. Stand for a free gift or something like that on this side and then it has like positive things on the other side so okay I'm excited to have this so I'm gonna start on this tonight because I have not um, wrote down my goals for this year and I usually do that so here it is I was just saying that to y'all and look at there This is a really, really nice planner. Really nice. So I thought I'd share that with you all. I'll leave the link if it's still available. I think it was like $32. Hey y'all, 
It is a 5.19 in the evening on Wednesday, January 3rd. And your girl is looking busted. Some turkey burgers. They look like they burn them, but they're not. And I got some fries in the oven. By anybody else, but I like my turkey burger to have like a little like crust, a little burnt on them. I don't know, that's what gives them like a good flavor. But give me a second, let me um take the fries out the oven because my timer just went off. Alright, just took the fries out the oven. So this is dinner. I got some buns, um, some bacon. Let me show you what kind of buns I get. <laughs> These are the buns we use. Um I forgot the most important thing is like sliced cheese. So my husband's about to pick that up. And he's picking up American and um, Swiss. And then I got some turkey bacon that we're going to put on our burgers too. So this is a dinner tonight. Fries. Burgers, turkey burgers. So while I got a minute, I wanted to come in and show you all the light that I picked up for the plant. I remember I told you a couple of days ago about this um, wireless remote control light that I wanted to add to that plant right there. So we're about to open it up, put it in there, and then I ordered a pot from Amazon. How about it came shattered? So I have to take it back. But before I close out the vlog, I did wanna show you all the last few things that I got from Amazon. Um, besides that manifestation book that I got yesterday that came in and then these two items well the pot came in yesterday but it came after the book so I wasn't able to show you all that and then um, the light just came today so let me get it open and then I'll show you all how I install it and um, what it looks like okay y'all don't mind how I look because I just um, finished finally taking my hair down it took me about two hours to do that I've been um, putting on my laundry that I didn't do yesterday and been in the house all day long. So I had on a whole jogging suit this morning, but I just, before I started cooking, I was like, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and put on my pajamas because I'm not going anywhere. But they both come packaged with the remote and then they come in a separate that box from, you know, of course, initial box there. It has some screws and things like that because I've seen on Amazon that people put them on their walls, but the directions are pretty self-explanatory. Precautions and safety is on the back, but I got them in this gold and black, so my thought is to have like just the light kind of like that shining on the plant and we turn it on at night when um before we go to bed because right now my husband leaves the pantry light on and it's like that's not enough light so i feel like this would be a little better and then you know it'll give it an ambiance down here and it does take three let me see i think it's three double a yeah three AA batteries. So hold on a second, let me get those in and then we're gonna bury it in the moss and see how it looks, okay? Okay, hold on, y'all. So I grabbed the batteries and they just go in like regular batteries do. And we're about to check it out. Cause I be seeing and I'm like, that looks really cute. The remote for this one. Maybe I need to take it out the plastic for it to work because right now it is not working. Why is it not working, y'all? Okay, then let's see what this. Girl, because I don't got stuff done right. 
You gotta do something to the remote. Okay. me to do hold on I'm trying to do two things at once I'm still cooking those turkey turkey burgers there's only one left in there so hold on y'all 20 hours later I finally got it working so oh now it don't want to act right Ooh. it's trying to call me out Don't tell me I got a bootleg one and it's not going to do right. Okay, so I turned it on, as you can see, and then I turned it off with the remote. But why is it not turning on with the remote? Okay, that's going to be a problem. But let's go get it buried in the moss and we'll see how it does with that. Okay, sorry if the light is a little off because um, because it's dark outside. So my plan is to like bury it in here. I kind of disguise it. But my concern now is that the remote is not gonna do me right. I gotta like pull some of that from some. Oh, I don't want that leaf in there. So I'll play around with it a little bit more because I'm gonna have to probably buy just a little bit of more moss. Or actually, you know what? I can take a couple of pieces because they're like layered on there. So something like that. Where you can see it, of course, but you can't see it. But let's see if it'll turn on. That's not going to do right. Because, duh, I'm covering up, like, the sensor part. So who's going to dig in there and turn it on every night? But even though it's, like, right there, so I can make, like, a little pathway to just hit it. But then I can't really... Um... I can't really like change it if I wanted to change the color or anything of it, but I like it. Let me turn y'all around. Let's turn the light off and see how it looks with the light turned off. And I just had y'all sitting on that stool. But this is what it's giving. I like that. So this is what I mean, like having it on at night where like, you know, everybody's up in a bed sleep. The downstairs is not so dark. Like it's not all the way dark outside, but you can kind of get the vibe and the gist as to what I was trying to achieve, and I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna try to remind myself to turn it on every night because the button literally is just right there, so. There you have it. And I like how it illuminates the wall like that. I like that. So I still have the second one, um, which I'm thinking about putting in this plant, but I don't have any more. I think I only have like one or two more AA batteries and you need three. So I may consider this one and on this one, I think what I'm gonna do is put it on the opposite side and not really care if it's showing because when you come in my front door, you really won't pay attention to it that much. But like, again, it will only just be on at night anyway so 
yeah thinking about putting one in here and this is of course in my office area which still is slowly being done it's not quite complete but um it's a work in progress as well so but yeah let me show y'all this pot before i forget because i'm so mad about it hold on let me get it out the box so it was one of those clear pots listen to this that's the pot that's how i and it's packaged well like it did good with like the bubble wrap and everything like they did good good with the bubble wrapping but it's broken like the top is still intact but the pot itself is done so I was only getting it because I wanted to put like the smell good stuff in there and because I have this stupid diffuser right here that typically is going off but listen to it when it's quiet in the house it's so loud it's a little less loud or loud as it normally is but this thing buzzes very loud and it's annoying so I was considering this so that I can just like you know keep refilling it turn it on change out the stuff like you know whether I buy lavender orange whatever like I could change the scents in here and just have it on my stove but it's broke and this thing was I mean for it to be so small I think I paid like 30 something dollars for this little pile so I've already initiated the refund and the return so this is something that we have to do tomorrow as well so yeah I'm a little bummed out about that that is all I have for this vlog I'm looking a hot mess I gotta get up in the morning figure out what I'm gonna do to my hair I really want to go get it silk pressed and wear it down but I don't know my mom got my I was looking for mine because I was gonna flat iron it and press it myself but my mom got my flat iron so I can't do that <laughs> which I may just run over her house in the morning and get it and then come back and do my hair yeah that's probably what I'm gonna do but anyway I don't have anything else going on in this vlog so I wanted to go ahead and end it thank you all for watching thank you thank you thank you and um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If this channel is your vibe, I would love to have you. And um, I'll see y'all on the next one. Yeah. <laughs> see y'all. <laughs>